Video presented to you by Unique to Billions e-learning. Please subscribe it and press the bell icon. Physical quantities and units. Measurement and comparison are important in studying physics. This video discusses about physical quantities and units. This is one of the basic topic from the chapter units and measurement. First, we will discuss about physical quantities. A physical quantity is a property of a material or system that can be quantified by measurement. For an example, height of a person. Height is a property of that person which is a measurable quantity. So height is a physical quantity that can be quantified by measurement. There are large number of physical quantities like length of my pen I am using to write, area of the ground I used to play, volume of water I drank today, etc. But one lucky thing is that not all these quantities are independent. So based on dependency, we can divide these physical quantities into two. One fundamental quantity and two derived quantity. These fundamental quantities are also called base quantities. So we are going to study about fundamental or base quantities and derived quantities in some detail. Fundamental or base quantities are those physical quantities which are independent of each other and all other quantities can be expressed in terms of these quantities. So there are two characteristics for a fundamental or base quantity. They are fundamental or base quantities are independent of each other and second all other quantities can be expressed in terms of these quantities. So derived quantities are all other quantities which can be expressed in terms of fundamental quantities. So two quantities we studied here fundamental or base quantities they are independent of each other and all other quantities can be expressed in terms of these quantities and derived quantities are all other quantities which can be expressed in terms of fundamental quantities. Many different choices can be made for the fundamental quantities. We can see that different systems in world uses fundamental quantities in different ways. For example, one can take length as a fundamental quantity. Then area will be a derived quantity. And in the reverse, if area is fundamental quantity, then length will be a derived quantity. So there are many different choices can be made for the fundamental quantities. But derived quantities will be depend upon the choice we made. Now we are going to study units. To compare and measure a physical quantity, we require a base or standard of that quantity. This name of base or standard used for measurement are simply units. For example, if I measure length of my table with my palm and say length of my table is 5 times my palm length. In this example, there are two parts 
for this measurement. One is phi and second my palm length. First number phi which is the magnitude of this measurement and second my palm length which is the base or standard used to measure length of my table. Simply unit in this case. Thus we can say that a physical quantity can be expressed as a combination of magnitude and a unit. In this example, if I measure my palm length with my palm itself, then it will be surely 1 times my palm length. So in other words, if I measure the standard, it is exactly 1 unit of the quantity. Consider a case, if I was measuring the length of same table when I was a small boy of class 1, then length of table may be 8 or 9 times my palm length. I didn't change my unit. When I was a small boy, I was measuring the same table with my palm length. Today, I was again measuring the length of my table with my palm length. So, unit is not changed, the magnitude changes. This is a problem in measurement if we use these type of units. Thus, these type of units cannot be used as an accepted unit in all cases. Therefore, to measure a physical quantity, we need some standard or base internationally accepted in all cases. For that, the standard or base for a unit should follow some characteristics. The standard for a unit should have four characteristics. They are one, it should be well defined. That is, it should be defined very clearly. Second, it should be invariable. That means, it should not change with the time. Third, it should be convenient to use. A unit must be convenient to use in different places. It should be easily accessible. Therefore, measurement of any physical quantity involves comparison with a certain basic, arbitrarily chosen, internationally accepted reference standard called unit. Units are also divided into two based on which physical quantity it measures. They are fundamental units or base units and two derived units. That is, units derived for fundamental quantity or base quantity are called fundamental or base units and those obtained for derived quantity are called derived units. Another term we are going to study here is system of units. A set of these units are known as system of unit. So, a system of units is a complete set of these units. In earlier times, even in scientific studies, there were many system of units in practice. We are going to see two of them. One, CGS system and two, FPS system. In CGS system, 
units of length mass and time are centimeter gram and second respectively and in fps system the units of length mass and time are foot pound and second respectively in 1971 general conference of weight and measurement was held its meeting and decided to follow one system of units which is known as the international system of units abbreviated as SI units. This is the system of units which is at present accepted internationally for measurement. In this system of units there are seven fundamental quantities and two supplementary quantities are there. We are going to see seven fundamental quantities and two supplementary quantities and their SI units now. Seven fundamental or base quantities in SI are length, mass, time, electric current, thermodynamic temperature, amount of substance and luminous intensity. Their corresponding SI units are meter, kilogram, second, ampere, kelvin, mole and candela represented by these symbols. Two supplementary quantities are plane angle and solid angle with SI units radian and steradian respectively. We will study more about SI unit in another video. Thank you for watching. Keep learning. If you are not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe it. Also please like and share this video.